All right, so perfect resume format. So, first of all, I don't think that there is necessarily a perfect format because the thing is with resumes, you know, it, it varies between companies, how they look at it, first of all. So, you know, does an HR person, does a recruiter, do they manually go through it at first when you first submit it? Um, you know, so that process, that workflow varies between companies. And so what works at one company might not work at another. The other thing with that is that typically, <laughs> typically what uh, can beat the system on some software like that, uh, it doesn't always, um, it doesn't always look as good to a human reviewer. You're going to have human reviewers at some point, whether that's the beginning, uh, you know, after one of these checks, um, the hiring manager, whatever, right? And so there's no format that's going to match perfectly for both of those. Uh, honestly, you know, just having some good keywords and well-written resume is going to be good. Um, you know, I, I made a video on how to write a good resume. And frankly, on my resume, whenever I've submitted that resume format, it gets a lot of calls. Now, granted, the more experience you get, the more certifications that you get, um, the more skills that you earn, um, you know, the more projects you do, like all this stuff matters. But that format in itself that I have in my video, you know, is very clean laid out, um, depending on, you know, if you have a lot of education, but not a lot of work experience, you know, you might rearrange those sections. Um, but I mean, check out that video. Um, but yeah, I mean, you really, if it was me writing a resume from scratch, I would focus more on the readability for a human than I would necessarily on that format. Um, but typically a lot of those kind of softwares, uh, if it runs through there, it's a lot of keywords. So you need to make sure you have the keywords that are correct. So, um, but again, I don't wanna take away from that video because on things like how I, I write the certifications out and the abbreviations and things like that, um, I would just direct you to that video. It's definitely where you're going to want to look. Uh, let's see here. Mm. So what else do we got here? Let me go back here. Add a few more questions to the queue. Okay. And uh, also too, uh, so I'm looking to grow the Discord server. I would like that to be a little bit more active. Um, sometimes, you know, varying activity in there. But, um, you know, just kind of in general, uh, if you're interested in volunteering in anything, um, you know, I'm always looking for volunteers. So whether that's helping out on Discord, um, you know, or anything else that I have going on, um, you know, definitely hit me up. Um, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of things that are going to happen in 2022. So, um, you know, uh, hit, hit me up if you're interested.